Hi there cadets, today we're going to talk about how to clean and maintain your clarinet. This is a very simple procedure that should only take a couple of minutes, but very important process that you need to make sure you do every single time you play the clarinet. Um, first things first, let's talk about the things that you're going to need to be able to do this process. Number one, you're going to need a swab of sorts. I like to use silk swabs. Um, these cost anywhere from six to upwards of like close to twenty dollars depending on where you get them But if you just get on Amazon or Google and you type in silk swab or you go to the music store and say I just need a silk swab um, Usually you can get one of these I don't recommend the kits that you can buy that are pre put together at the store Just because they tend to be kind of expensive and they the pieces tend to fall apart You need a swab and you need a reed case that will take care of everything. Oh, and some cork grease. But for about the same price of one of those kits, you can get a nice swab that will last probably all the way through high school, um, maybe longer, a reed case, and then a little tub of cork grease. And that will be all you need to maintain your clarinet. I would highly recommend you do it this way rather than their kits. Again, they fall apart a lot of, time, a lot of the times. So the first thing I'm going to do, my clarinet has been assembled, we just finished playing. I'm going to take my reed off because that's the part that is the most delicate. So you can leave everything on the instrument. I would just loosen my ligature screws and gently take the reed off of the instrument. I'm going to set this back down. Notice that it's on a table, it's not on my lap. Um, and then I take my reed and gently put it into the case. Don't push it in as far as you can just until you get resistance though. This will help to make sure that your reed dries out and that you don't damage the tip. These only cost a couple of dollars and it, sir, uh, it holds two reeds. You can get them so they hold four and I've actually even seen some that have six. Um, but these are pretty inexpensive and it's much better than the cheapy little ones that they come in. These are not designed for long-term storage, just for shipping. So don't use these, use these, okay? So I'm gonna set that aside. Um, actually, I'll put it in my case. So in my case it goes. And now what I like to do is you can actually run the swab all the way through the entire instrument or you can do it in like two chunks. What I'm going to do though is take my mouthpiece off just because it has the ligature and it can be a little bit of a, a pain. So what I'm going to do is take the ligature off and I'm just going to run the swab through and just go back and forth a little bit just to get as much water out of it as you can and we're done. Take this, put the cap back on, and stick it in your case. Okay? Now I'm going to do half the clarinet at a time. Be careful when you take the instrument apart that you're not grabbing a hold of the rods. Remember there's a lot of important places that you don't want to touch. But, and always with a twisting motion, be careful of that mechanism that connects the two pieces in the middle. Okay? So I'm doing half of the time. I'm going to start with the upper joint. Um, you should have like a little bead or something at the end of this that a weight of sorts that helps it go through the instrument. So I would let the weight go through first, pull the swab through. I would recommend doing this probably about three times. And again, and we'll do one more. Okay, and then the other thing you should do is kind of just take this along the joints and make sure there's no moisture on the joints and the corks, just. And um, same thing with this joint right here. And my, le my right hand is barely holding this clarinet right now. I've done this for years, and I know where it's safe to hold it, and I'm not squeezing this really tightly. But you guys should probably hold it closer to where the barrel connects um, when you disconnect the two, and just be careful of these keys that run up and down. You always want to be very delicate with any rods and keys that run up and down the length of the instrument. Okay, so I've wiped all of the joints clean. And make sure you're putting it in the right spot in the case. It's very easy. I still put things in the wrong spot, it, but I don't close the case like that. Okay, and you always want to go from the bigger part of the instrument to the smallest part of the instrument because you'll get more liquid out. So I start in the bell, pull it all the way through, do it again. And I'd probably recommend doing it one more time. If you notice it's getting more water out every time, go ahead and do it again and again. Okay, and remember there's a safe place to hold it in the back of the instrument where these lower keys are. You can palm there and then push these keys down. Be very careful. Don't touch the rods that run up and down though. And with a twisting motion, it should come right apart. Check your joints for moisture. 
and put it, whoops, see I'm putting it upside down. Put it back in the case, same thing with the barrel, or the bell, sorry, check for moisture. Put it back in the case, and now I want to recommend that you don't put anything on top of your, it's, of your instruments. It's going to be very tempting to take this silk swab and say, well, it, it's not very bulky, it's fine, it'll be okay. Um, and then just stuff it in the case and shut it. You don't want to do that. These cases are designed to protect your instrument. As soon as you put stuff on top of it, you risk damages. And prepa uh, repairs on, on woodwind instruments can get very pricey very quickly. So please be careful. Don't put anything on top of your instrument. Take this and put it in a little pouch or a makeup bag or your purse or your backpack or your pocket or whatever, but don't put this in your instrument case. Let's put it outside of it because on a clarinet case, most of the time you don't have any space to store these items. If you do, sometimes they have like a top that opens down, go ahead and stick it in there, but don't put it right on top of the instrument because you need to protect this instrument so it lasts a long time. So everything's back in my case. I close it. Make sure the latches are, are tightly closed so that if I pick up the instrument case, it doesn't fall out everywhere. Um, and that's about all I have to say with cleaning clarinets. It's pretty simple. Just always start with the largest end, run the swab through a few times, check for moisture, make sure you put your reeds away in the case. Remember, a silk swab works better and get a really good reed case, not these, and some cork grease, and you should be golden to take care of your clarinet. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to email me at the address listed below. I wish you the best of luck and hope you keep practicing.